is DNN, Donut News Network. I'm Angry Cops, AC for short, and today we bring you breaking news out of Ukraine where the Russian military has begun an invasion on this ex-Soviet state. We have a Russian military member here to talk with us today about the invasion of Ukraine. Sir, are you there? Duh, I'm here. Can you tell us why the Russian military has invaded a sovereign nation like Ukraine. Invasion? This this is no invasion. We all think that this is big training exercise. You're telling me that you thought that this entire invasion was just a military exercise. Nah, of course this is training. We fly into place. We don't know where we land. Our paratroopers are 5,000 feet up in air, slowly floating down. Easy sniper target in real wartime environment. In uh, training, not so bad. You know, if they have good sniper, all those guys go down. You run out of bullets before the bodies stop falling. It's not like we fucked that up on purpose. Do you think we would be that dumb in war? <laughs> Maybe. Plus, we always have rockets and explosions and all of our, uh, you know, training events. You know, we go large division exercise. Two, three people die all time from rocket going off. Airplane crash, get missile struck. Train as you fight. And we uh, kill lots of ourselves when we fight. So we kill a lot of ourselves when we train. This training in different country when we don't ask to do this normal training. Ask Georgia. In fact, I was one of paratroopers to fall into an uh, airport in Kiev. Wouldn't the Russian military be afraid of being shot down? No, I'm not afraid of being shot down. The Ukrainian civilians do not know that you have to aim football field in front of fast-moving aircraft in order to strike it with small arms fire. <laughs> oh, shit. Speaking of shooting down aircraft, what are the Russian thoughts on this legendary Ghost of Kiev, a Ukrainian pilot that has already shot down six Russian aircraft, making him an ace uh, literally in one day? <laughs> Don't, don't be serious. You think that we are afraid of some fake legend in plane flying over a plane? Suck up that! False alarm. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. False alarm. He was burned in the sky. It's okay. Radar is off. Where were we? We're also getting reports that Russian military have taken over the nuclear site Chernobyl. Could you inform us as to why that is? Why is Russia going and securing Chernobyl for all nuclear waste? It is it is big deal here. Ukraine has done such poor job. Decade after decade of have Chernobyl there. And yet, no superheroes? Huh? No superheroes from Ukraine? No flying men? No Spider-Man? There's no electric eel that gets in ooze? No Ninja Turtles, Russia will make superhero. We already have young men volunteering to touch and eat and consume green nuclear waste liquid so that they can gain powers. They already glow at night. Not very good for night operations, but yet they glow. Superhero powers are next. And then, of course, after human testing, we go and make Ninja Turtles. Donatello, Raphael, all these other Ninja Turtles. Ukraine has not made them. Russia will make the Ninja Turtles. Russia is willing to sacrifice many Ukrainians to make superheroes. This is fair, huh? Eh? We sacrifice all of our men all the time. Least we can do is make Ukraine sacrifice for us again. It's science. This is how science is in Russia. We also have a video coming in, can we shoot this to him? Uh, of a Russian tank intentionally running over a civilian vehicle that looks to be uh, like it's trying to flee the area. Woman drivers, am I right? Ah, it is. Whatever, the road is theirs. They take left, they want to go left. You cannot tell. Okay, but seriously, the, uh, this is this is for public safety of Ukraine. At a certain age, old people are more dangerous behind wheels. So what you see here is good community policing by Russian soldiers to safely safeguard all of Ukrainians from crazy old woman driver. This is very good. Proud community work like this is how we will gain hearts and minds in Ukraine. Excuse me, excuse me, are you a Russian oh, soldier? Oh, oh, hold on. You, you, you're a Russian no, soldier? No, I'm Russian soldier, yes. Fuck you. Fuck what? you, piece of shit. Oh. Will you come to my country? You get the fuck out you of see my this? country, you piece of shit. Huh? How about you carry Who's some flower seeds in your pocket so when you fall to the ground in my Ukraine, at least flowers will grow from your dead corpse. Fuck you, piece of shit. Fuck you, communist fuck. Do 
you see? Do you see why we run them over and tank? Huh? Balls on these women. Suck a blood. And on that note, hold your babushkas and keep them safe. Glory to Ukraine. I'll see you next time, weirdos. Da? Snake Island? Who would want to be se securing a place called Snake Island? Radio the island and tell them that we will blow them up if they don't surrender. They said what? What can I say? Oh, shit. No, no, no. See, it's the last cigarette before my ration. Okay. Dog hair, still good. I save cigarette. We know less.